I want Ten Hag to go. I am done with his style of play and how he envisions transitional, fast, chaotic bullshit. Sid, there were reports recently that Thomas Tuchel might be looking at Man United as his next destination. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Would you welcome him? Would he be a good fit? Is are you sacking Eric Ten Hag? Where is this? Yeah, it's a very complex issue. I think I've been trying to get my head around it, but the thing is, even if Tuchel wants to come, I would actually not mind that. To be very honest, Tuchel is a good coach. He has shown that he can manage a good team successfully in the Premier League. He has shown that he can manage top teams and top players in other European leagues as well. But uh, I don't think Ineos and United right now have the budget to even sack Ten Hag. because he has one more year left in the contract and sacking him and paying off his staff is going to be an additional cost and given uh, how we are still in like talks to figure out the Dan Ashford situation and all these other gardening deals that we might have to pay off eventually and trying to offload players and getting in that money and the cash flow to offset the ffp issues i don't see a new manager coming in at this point even though i would like that So I think that is where I would stand. I want Ten Hag to go. I am done with his style of play and how he envisions transitional, fast, chaotic bullshit. I am. It's it's over. <laughs> That's not how you win wow. any league. That's not how you control yeah, any game. Have, the 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 it's optimist has been broken. The yes. optimist <laughs> is broke today. Wow, I, I didn't expect that. Um, I've been a few years. It's going to be one season of pain. Be- that you might just have to endure yeah. once more and then we can see some progress so that's where as i as like a rival <laughs> fan who is also getting a new manager in arne slot what do you think like would do you think united is going to be a scary proposition with tuchel um it will be uh, i think tuchel we all know how tactically adept he is i think there is some background noise uh, i think we've seen how uh, tuchel is some you know has done with all the teams right i think United and Tuchel seem like a perfect fit right now, but as it said, I don't think they are going to get rid of Ten Hag for various reasons that they have. Maybe even Ten Hag believes that they play very beautiful and attractive football right now. They're the most amazing team to watch in the league. Uh, everyone except United fans. But keeping that aside, uh, if Tuchel comes to United, it's a big if. They are going to have the time of their lives for the first couple of years, maybe, and then it's all going to go down in flames. And that's going to be beautiful to watch. perfect because he is not he is not a good man manager he has a lot of i don't know he's he's a bit insecure about himself even though how much ever he's achieved he is he's tactically very good he's he's amazing at, in in that sense but united what united needs right now is someone who can kind of grab everything by the neck everyone by the neck and kind of take them together and i think that man management is something which they've been in looking for for a la- long time so tuchel is going to come come to united maybe do do his magic for the first couple of years but i don't think it's going to end well i don't i actually don't agree with you there i, I don't think uh, i think we spoke about this before but i don't think tuchel is a bad man manager at all um re, like any i know that you gave a screenshot saying that he's had like fights at the board almost in every club that is but then whichever mm-hmm. clubs he's been to have had a history any way of like you know uh issues between management and board it's always been there um and i think he had a very strong relationship with the fans and the players at chelsea everyone really liked him even bayern munich um i think muller came out to say that like to chill's been really good he's he's been handling the situation really well he handles the players really well harry kane really likes him like overall he's managed big egos um and you know united the vision that they are taking right now they don't want big egos in their team anymore so it's a perfect opportunity to even give tuchel a chance to manage a team which is you know building from the scratch this is the first time that tuchel is actually going to be given that kind of a job and he's never had that experience before he's always been in clubs which are either in turmoil or like you know big clubs psg chelsea bayern munich um united is a very big club but the transitional phase that they're going through that's going to be a new challenge for him and i think he's the perfect coach for that tactically uh, good he his english is amazing he's been in the premier league he's he had a mm-hmm. i mean considering how chelsea look right now he finished fourth and he won them a champions league he took them to two cup finals he's done everything possible 
you know in the in the era of like peak clop and peak guardiola um so and, i think he'd be perfect no, and i think you forgot one club there the shirt which aj is wearing dortmund so i think dortmund has a, was, he had a perfect okay. chance at dortmund mm-hmm. the thing yes, no, is that dortmund, dortmund had a perfect was his first no but like dortmund mm-hmm. he had his first managerial second managerial job right after mainz and mm-hmm. that was the first step dortmund were also going through things right after klopp he won them a cup it's not like he didn't do anything uh he was he was he had a very decent looking team at he made his name there at dortmund and dortmund have a history of uh, you know the the ceo ceo has a history of um issues with players and managers they've had uh, they had issues with obemang i know from experience that like when arsenal were trying to buy obemang there were a lot of issues there they had mm-hmm. issues with uh, uh, other managers as well it's not that's the only you know ground up team that he's managed um And his and next manager in the same position right now. No, 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 I, I, really. I get your point. I, right? I think it. No, I think see with PSG, with Chelsea, and in some, to some extent Bayern Munich, I, I see that the problem may not be all himself. Like I think the clubs are the way the way the clubs are. I think you can't expect more uh, from a manager. Like I can see the fault is on both sides, but with Dortmund, I mean, again, I've read through a lot of reports uh, coming from the Dortmund because they have a good football structure, and that's what Man U are. expiring to have so again if he has changed from then and if he has learned this as and if he, if he can build a bond like he did with chelsea fans and i think mm-hmm. that's going to go well but right now i've seen what's happening with ban munich as well yeah there are some good reports there are some bad reports he's not someone who you can count on in the long term if united can make it work i don't want them to make it work but if they can <laughs> good for them but i that's you know, right. really if i have to pick a side if i have to pick a side Yeah, I do. I think it's going to go down in flames. Yeah. Aj, um, but I I don't agree with you, man. Like I actually don't agree with you. I think Chelsea's that. okay. Uh, biggest mistake in the last few years, despite all ahead, the players it? that they have signed, flop players, is sacking Tuchel and Aj. You got it again. again. I would like to uh, cash in on that as a United fan. I think only my voice will be heard here. We're out of sync. Um, oh. Sid, go ahead. No, I'm. I was saying that I think Chelsea's biggest mistake in the last few years, despite all their horrendous money splurging signings, uh, has been sacking Tuchel. With I don't know, with the new management and like those rash decisions that Bolly and his great team did. But uh, yeah, as a United fan, I would definitely want to cash in on that opportunity. Like Tuchel, yeah. I mean, there are like Abhinav said, you can highlight those issues, but he also. like he also knows how to manage big players and at united that's always going to be the case no matter what like i know we are trying to go towards like more sustainable player oriented model and not like a person oriented model but even then mm-hmm. eventually with success you will definitely get those personas in the team and you need a manager who is able to you know face those people and like establish his own ground and make those people listen to him and i don't think right now ten hag is able to do that with this squad like he has champions league winners in his squad and he's not able to use them or motivate them or like get the best out of them at any in any way possible and that is definitely what we need to fix immediately so yeah and another thing that i really think is important in a manager of a premier league winning team is the fact that they can speak good english i know it sounds like a very basic thing but i feel like speaking english comprehending <coughs> making sure your message reaches the everyone through the media there's a lot of scrutiny uh making sure the players understand you making sure everyone understand everything you need that in a manager of a premier league winning squad and if you see the last i don't know 20 10 years 15 years of whatever winning maybe ex- except for uh, uh the lester manager claudio ranieri except for that everyone was good in english and like was comprehensible so that's my thoughts is it you have any final thoughts on tuchel to united bro the conversation has moved past me wait wait, wait. <laughs> long back i was i was thinking about trying to figure out my mic and shit anyway quick quick thoughts right i feel like massive respect for tukul overall so i rate him as a coach but i rate him as a coach for knockout competitions i think he can pull things together in a one off games situation i don't think he can pull things together in a in a league and 
that's just how it's been i think he's won one league title which is in psg with uh messi neymar mbappe whatever big egos to manage but also like a very farmers league like if you don't with the psg then you are actually doing something wrong uh and then overall i just feel like he's a defensive coach and also a very defensive coach you think unai emery is a good coach i think unai emery is not as good as tukul but unai emery is a good coach yeah but he's not he's not he, i mean unai emery he also ran with no, no, the no, league we, uh, at psg firstly psg is not so a good player rate, at all for football teams dude but do you rate uh, do you rate unai emery equal to tukul tukul is do you rate like him? a different no That's no tukul saying. is like so, a, could, a bar above Uh, I agree uh, completely. Unai Emery. But I'm but, with you. I'm with but, you on that. If but if United have to look into the market and Unai Emery is available, Tuchel is available. It's not going to be that close. The, it's I mean it's going to be very close because <clears throat> Unai Emery has proved himself at every stage now. So he's he's getting there as like a manager. So and PSG is just not a good bar man. PSG is not a good team to judge players, managers, the, the sporting directors, anything. <laughs> It's just I don't, the freak of the so. team. I don't think it so. It is. They, think so. I mean, they have a. If you're, sometimes if you're, when you don't have the history not, of. No, if you're not winning Champions League, I totally get it. Get your point. If you're not winning your domestic league, then the thing I don't is, agree domestic with you. league is taken so for granted in PSG, and there can be off seasons where players are just not bothered. And he's the only manager who's gotten PSG to uh, the the final. Maybe it happens this year, no. but he's the only manager who's gotten PSG yeah. to the final, and they could have won that final if you know Neymar and Mbappe turned up. Then they 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 had close shouts. It wasn't a or yeah you know, or what? No, no, I'm 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 not disagreeing with you when it comes to knockout games. I am not. I'm totally saying he's one of the best when it comes to knockout games. Hundred percent. Mm. I'm just saying he's a divisive figure when it comes to getting into a dressing room. Like he actually picks sides in terms of like okay, these are my favorites. And rest of you are bent. Like for, for example, what happened exactly. with Kimmich? Exactly. Why? For our why? Because cars. no, no. Why? Because he wa- always yeah. walks into a big team which is already established players, already established yeah. board. Everything's there. Big egos. United is not yeah. going to be like they're, they're planning a clear out. It's the first time and that, when a tactically why... astute manager who has success in England will get the mm-hmm. chance to build a team from the ground up, completely with a new no, ownership. But, but that's what I'm saying. Chance that you is, didn't is, have a chance. Is it? Is it? So, if, so we are comparing. We are taking Tuchel from Dortmund when he was ten years younger, much nascent in his career, to give a club ten or five years to build a club up from ground up and then take them to where they are after coming from PSG, Barca, Chelsea, and winning all these trophies. You can compare it. You can draw a parallel to Pochettino, but Pochettino was out of his job for two years. He was basically not anywhere. He was in a very low phase of his life after PSG because he hadn't managed a big team. So it, it, it that's not comparable. But like, are you expecting Tuchel to not be mad, to not be given like given the FFP situation, to not be uh, you know throwing a tantrum when it comes to uh, in your saying to them that okay we don't have money, you just deal with the players you have. And then he's like okay I'm winning Rashford out and I'm not winning any uh, this thing. The, the the dressing room would be devised, right? It would be divided at that point of time. So that's what I I'm mean, saying. Like sure, in the in the league, it could be divided. Yeah. Yeah. But in the in league, terms of I how feel many like choices it's... you have, who who what managers are available, yeah. and like the just the opportunity to get a like a tactical genius in your in your team to start with, and the opportunity yeah. to give him also a chance to manage a club from the ground up is something that you have. Sometimes you just have to take those chances. Sometimes you have to throw it, throw the dice. And I feel like if you, if Chelsea would have thrown the dice with Tuchel when uh, they were investing in all these young players. At this point, he could have made a proper competitive team. I think, not not the heavy that it is. Yeah, right no, I think Nirav. I, I think the, pro- the problem with United is they've thrown the dice for t- far too long now. Yeah. If if to if Tuchel had come in There's like no maybe money. before, yeah, before Mourinho, before Louis Van Gaal, and everything, I think that probably is a good proposition. But the thing is, they've taken a risk on these. Supposedly good managers, yeah. high-profile managers for mm-hmm. way too long, and it didn't work out for them. I mean, I think they need someone who can actually kind of build from ground up. And as Aj said, he's not someone who can kind of unite a dressing room. I I totally get your point that yes, he is an amazing manager. He's close, and you know he does what he does. But United can't take a chance with this new ownership, and because if they if they if they screw up one more time, I think they are going That's to be so much, stuck yeah. in the table for the next ten years or so. But you know, I, so I don't and think. Just, and just one last thing, been, right? Uh, in terms yeah. of 
No, go on, Ajay. Uh, just just one last point. In terms of building a, something from ground up, I personally feel we are at a stage of football where established managers will have a very hard time doing it. Uh, like Arne Slot for Liverpool, I feel like is a great option because firstly it can be a fallback. It can, he can be an easy scapegoat if it comes to that. But then again, because he's not as famous, he gets a little bit more opportunity, a little bit more patience from the fan base. Same with Arteta. Yeah. Same with like you know, if you look at other places in different leagues, Zavi, for example. Uh, for an established yeah. manager to come in and not given results it can destabilize the whole additional whole, pressure you know, fan yeah. base and fit yeah.